Hello YouTube, uh, this is Van Piper and I'm going to do a little walk around quickly and show you what I've done on the van. So this is my first improvement was I added a double drawer, you know, like another drawer underneath it so I could uh, just throw tools in there, you know, just for the heck of it. I don't mind it's a mess because I've been working on the van still, you know, just that way I have more room. And I was, I had the tools all stacked up nice and neat in the row, I mean, but yeah, I was just taking up too much room. And then, let's go around this way. So we'll go over here. Oh, what the heck is that? Uh-oh, somebody put a window on my van. I wonder who did that. Of course, me. Um, hopefully, I don't regret it. It uh, was kind of a pain in the ass. And that comes perfectly. I'll show you what I mean. That it sits, sits perfect. It's the right size and everything. And I could not get a custom-made window. Because it would cost me a fortune. And so let's go around to the other side. Alright. And this is the inside. Uh, I'm not done yet. I'm going to put some insulating foam. And hopefully I can show you that today. Because uh, I have to be to work today. In about two hours. So I'm going to put some foam in there. Seal it up a little bit. And then I made a casing for it. Uh, let's see. Here we go. I can show that. Don't mind the mask. There's the casing for the... It goes around the window. Oh, I'm going to have to go slower so you can see better. So you're not getting all blurry there, you know. And then, I had a lot of time because I wanted to get as close as possible to the window. So I had to put, if I can, if you can see it. I had to put a, cut a groove in along here, and if I had a router, it would have been so much easier, but I don't have one, and how often am I going to use a router? Who knows? And the problems I had with the, um, the side is, that's a flat window. The sides are curved, lengthwise and heightwise, and uh, so I had to cut it out. So I tried banging it in, because, you know, these... Braces right here. I tried banging it and I kind of screwed the side up a little bit. And so, because I tried to bend them, I couldn't. So I had to get my oscillator tool and cut them out. But I poked a couple of holes on the side, you know. That's why the window had to be such a big gap in it. So I get these up because it wouldn't, it wouldn't, um, just wouldn't go in flat. And that's the only best way I could do it. So I'm going to put some foam in and hopefully we can see. How much of a screw up I do, okay? All right, be back. All right, I got the foam in and I put it in quite heavily. So it's gonna squirt out all over the place, which I didn't want there either. But what you do is, that is a mess there. Um, don't touch it until it's dry. Try to wipe it, it just makes it worse. Just leave it alone and you're all set. I get down there too and now, I put holes in some of the wood along there, as you can see, and squirted the insulation in there. About two and a half cans I used. I wanted to make sure it was in there. And stupid me, I didn't take the screen out. So, and there's a fly right there. I'm going to have to let it dry before I even try touching it. And so, so there's part one of what I'm going to be doing. And i show you some more. Later on, just a quick um, video before I have to go to work. Hopefully it dries enough. So, all right. We'll see you later, guys. Bye.